Welcome to this historian video, Creating a Media Vault, brought to you by Pixels to Pages. This is Tamika and I will be your instructor for this video. When you first open Historian after installing it, your screen will look like this with a new Media Vault menu on the screen. If for any reason you don't see this menu, simply click Create a New Vault. You need to give the Media Vault a name. You can leave it as My Media Vault or name it something else. Next, you have to choose a location and who has access to it. If you want your Media Vault shared with all of the users on your computer, keep Shared Documents selected and your vault will be saved in the Public Documents folder on your computer. If you don't want other users on your computer to have access to this vault, select My Documents. Your vault will then be saved in the Documents folder under your username. If you want to choose another location for your vault, simply click Other Folder, Browse, and navigate to the location you'd like to save your vault. I'm going to leave this vault in Public Documents. If you'd like to enable facial recognition for your vault, be sure this box is selected. By checking this box, Historian will add a few sample images for you to play around with and edit without having to use your own images. Click OK. The software will ask you if you'd like to create a shadow copy. You will learn more about shadow copies in a separate offering and will have the opportunity to create a shadow copy later. I will choose not to create a shadow copy at this time. Voila! You've just created a Media Vault. Be sure to look for our other offerings that will show you how to import media into your media library as well as categorize and tag it.